Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right into the sparring role. My white belt teammate is going to go for a double leg, but I'm going to be able to sprawl my weight uh, away from him and uh, work my way to the back. Now, there's a few takedowns I like to do when I take uh, someone's back when they're standing. What I like, my, my favorite one is just to trip the leg out, as you can see here, but he's able to get his knees back under him and stand back up. And I lace my uh, left leg through trying to take the back uh, when I get him back down to take the back, but he's able to stand back up. And here I try it again. And then I reset and uh, keep uh, my back position here. So what I'm doing now is tripping the leg and now I've got him in a position where I can start to take the back. So what I use, what I do with my hands is I keep a gable grip. Uh, that way I can control the midsection and I just try to trip out one of the legs. As you can see here, I'm able to, uh, get, uh, get into the back position, but he's able to scramble out and I'm still trying to get into the back right here. And I realize that I'm too far above. So I'm going to reset the position and, um, try to take the back again. So position over uh, submission. I don't want my head to be too far forward where he can buck me off. Um, he is one of the more athletic white belts we have uh, on the team. So I want to make sure that I control him, uh, control the scramble. So right here, as you can see, he tries to uh, Granby roll, but again, my right arm is draped over his, um, his hip and back. So I was able to control the roll and uh, he's going to stand right back up again. And I'm going to do um, the same uh, takedown again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick a side and uh, while he's trying to base and break um, the grip, I'm I try to take him over into like a, a back taking position where I sit and he sits on top of me. Uh, and then again, I'm going to lace the leg right here, try to take the back. Um, he's going to do a good job of fighting that arm. So uh, he's going to go down though and I'm going to hop over and start trying to solidify a position, but he's uh, able to kind of buck me off, uh, get his hips back under him and roll. And I'm going to be again in this dominant position where my right arm is draped over the back and I can control his scramble. So as you can see, he's very, very good in the scrambles. I think he used to be a wrestler. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but he's very good in the scrambles. So I need to be able to control those scrambles so I can maintain a dominant position. As you can see here, I've kind of um, got a dominant position where I was, I'm was. i almost threatening the back and now I'm in the three quarters mount. And what I'm going to do here is uh, take my right leg right over and get into the mount position. So now that I'm in a dominant position right here and I've solidified the position, I'm going to start going for my Ezekiel. So as you can see, I laced my left hand into my sleeve and my right arm is going to go all around his neck. And I did that because he put both of his hands close to my hip and um, then that let the neck be open for the attack. And as you can see, I based my knees out to prevent him from rocking me over. Uh, he was able to defend the um, the Ezekiel and starts to come out and he starts to stand. So what I'm going to do is transition from uh, the back into a closed guard position standing. And um, that's why I like the closed guard because you can transition from the closed guard to the back and from the back to the closed guard. So as you can see here, he's uh, doing a good job of trying to break my grips and I'm able to get a muscle sweep right here, start to come up. Uh, he's going to um, stand back up uh, very, very quickly. And what I'm going to do now is keep playing the same game, even though we're close to the wall, uh, I'm still trying to play the same closed guard game, but I'm going to uh, let the legs go and start playing a De La Hiva uh, with a collar grip. And right here, I get a sweep and I start to come up on top. So right now I'm going to start uh, trying to figure out what type of pass I want to use right here. So I've got control of his sleeve and uh, I step past the X guard that he was playing with a reverse neon belly position. I'm sorry, not a reverse neon belly position. My, my knee is on his chest and right here, I kind of just splay out into a side control position. And then I hop over into the mount. He's trying to do a cross collar choke from the mount. Um, those don't usually work from the mounted position. They, they have a better chance of working from the closed guard. And right here, I'm trying to do one of my other mounted attacks that I like a lot, the mounted triangle. So right here, I'm able to get into a triangle position. And what I'm going to do is start focusing on his right arm and getting the Kimura. So I, I like getting the Kimura from the mount as well, but he's doing a good job of grabbing his thigh and not letting me get uh, the Kimura position that I need. So right here, I get the Kimura position and he starts to come up and uh, I'm going to start losing the triangle so I relock the triangle and start trying to still work on that Kimura but he's going to do a good job of basing and I kind of lock the triangle while I try to work on getting this arm uh, out from uh, under his hip that he's grabbing. So right here, I lose the triangle once again and he's going to start stepping over and uh, I realize I've lost the position. So right here, I kind of uh, chuck him off and come up on top and now I'm going to start trying to pass uh, once again. So right here, I grab the pant legs and I start doing my tripod position where my head goes down and my feet are tripoded. And right here, he's going to start standing up and now we're going to get into a scramble right here so I've got a single leg. So now that I've got the single leg, he's going to stop me from 
uh, utilizing it for the takedown. So I just do the same trip from the back that I was doing before. And now I'm starting to solidify the side control position. So right here, start getting my hips close to his hips to stop him from uh, uh, turning into me. And I use that uh, to actually get the mount position. And right here, two of the guys who are doing the nogi are going to um, st or run into us. And I, I wanted to reset the position, but he wanted to continue from the mount position. So we're going to reset right here. And what I'm going to try to do is just start working the position. Uh, I'm sorry, the submission once again from a dominant position. I'm going to isolate one of the arms, as you can see right here. And I'm going to step that leg up and start getting into the mounted triangle once again, because those are the finishes I was looking for for this role. And he's going to do a good job of bucking me. And I'm going to just solidify in the mount and um, try to go for another type of submission, uh, isolating one of those arms. But uh, we don't have enough time left. And right here, we're just I'm just going to settle uh, and grab one of the legs. And then that's going to be the end of the roll. So let's get right into these takeaways. The major takeaway is uh, controlling the scramble. As you can see here, I'm able to get the takedown and follow my opponent so he can't stand back up and start solidifying the back position, as you can see right here. In the next one, I'm controlling the Gramby roll by stopping, by using my left arm, I'm sorry, my right arm to drape over his back and stop him from rolling over his left shoulder and controlling his uh, descent and speed so I can get back into a dominant position. And this actually really helped me in the Fullerton Open in my semifinals match that's featured on the channel, where my first opponent was very very scrambly and i was able to kind of follow him until i was able to lock him down and start initiating the pass so i drill this a lot with people who are uh tend to be faster more um, agile uh, training partners and i try my best to slow them down and control their momentum so i can uh, initiate my pass and uh, submission game so ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the roll thank you guys for watching and i will catch you on the next one peace